Hey guys, welcome back, Smith RC Studios. Happy Sunday. Well, actually, it's not Sunday um, for us, but for you guys watching this video right now, happy Sunday. Um, so I'm here with a good buddy of mine. You guys seen him before? Dana drove all this way 50 minutes. Was it 50 minutes? Right on hour. Roughly. Yeah. He brought his trailer, which we'll go in there a little bit later, guys. Uh, you guys seen him in other videos, but today he's a happy man because we're gonna unbox this beautiful RC. That came from, where did it come from, Dana? Portugal. Oh shit, Portugal, really? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, all the way from Portugal, I'm very interested, so I called him up, I said, hey, when you get the shipment, please let me know, we'll make a video of it, and I'll bring you guys along, so let's open it up. These uh, carts are numbered. Oh shit. So they put that number is? on the cart? Uh-huh, that's your, that's your, the, the 200th and 250th person to buy one, out of their country. Oh, that's cool. What number are you? I forget. Two <laughs> <laughs> something. Two something. All right, well, let's check it out. Dude. All right, guys. The cool thing about this packaging is you have to unscrew it to get it open. It's pretty cool. That's it. Two more. You think my viewers are ready for this? I don't piece? know. I don't know. <laughs> oh shit! Now look at this. So, uh, for the viewers, um, let's just quickly explain. Let's kind of take this plastic off. Um, so my my buddy here, Dana, is an enthusiast for regular, full size um, gas gas go karts. Is that is that right? Is that fair to say, Dana? Is that it's fair to say I have an interest in it? Sure. He has Absolutely. an interest in full-size go karts. So he found this company. That um, oh, and that's the guy. That's your driver. <laughs> and so they Look do R, they do RC. Oh, that is your last name. <laughs> custom. So, custom. So they do RC go karts. Um, so this is super exciting. I said, let's. <laughs> oh, dude, it even has like a fake screen there. Uh -huh. All right, let's take it out. So, so 225, so that you're, means there's only 225 in the United States currently. Oh, that's badass. So, you, yeah. so technically that's your, I guess, like your serial number, right? And well, then uh, when you get here, your certificate says that you're 225. Oh, and then nice. your, engine, your engine has a serial number that matches your cart. Your cart has a serial number. Oh, OS cart. Okay, so if you guys have heard... With this company, um, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. This is the first time me seeing it, and uh, very impressed. So I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna see it together. I wanna go over it. I wanna see how it's made. So let's go over it. Nice. So basically, um, Dan was telling me that uh, it's it's realistic in a sense that. So in the sense that it looks realistic as though there's somebody sitting in it. So go ahead and put him in. Yeah, so he's, he's got the Velcro on his feet that stick to the brake and gas pedal. Which and is right here, the, the one of the pedals. And there's servos inside this fake gas tank, right? Right. So this is not a, this is not a real gas tank. The tank's over here. The tank is actually down here. But this is a fake gas tank where they put the servos in there. And those servos obviously will move the steering wheel making it look as though he's really and you got straps for the hands so his hands move with the wheel <laughs> that's neat so oh, that's neat so he's stuck there and then you can pin him here matter neat of, matter of fact See if I can go around. I'll go around twice and get his hands to fit tighter. And they'll move more realistic that way. Okay, so I'm curious. So do real size go-karts, they, they, do they use uh, shocks or they're not, they don't normally have shocks? Or? To my knowledge, they do not use shocks. Okay, okay. The, the shock is built into the frame somehow, the, yeah, the forgiveness yeah. of the frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rigid, they're very rigid. 
Yeah, okay. And then, um, so obviously here's your real motor, or engine rather. So what, what engine did you say this was? A 32? 33. 33cc gasoline engine. And um, so he called me last night actually guys and we were trying to figure out what the ratio was for oil. So this particular engine, the engine builder or maker of this company has suggested to Dana that they're gonna be running one uh, 40 to one ratio. So um, we normally run 125 and boats 116, but this one um, 40 to one. So you can see there. So okay. So move, move, move the uh, move your transmitter. <laughs> oh, that's super neat. So which one? I guess I'm guessing this would be like gas, right? That's brake. That's brake. That's fuel. And that's fuel. Yeah. Brake and fuel. And you have steering. But you have to you have to check this out. Look. Okay. So. So it's a driver, and it's um, he made it custom to himself. So he's, he's got his like uh, last name here. How do you pronounce it anyway? Mott. Mott. He's got a a real engine here, mm -hmm. but if you look over here, this is like your fake gas tank and fake engine uh, engine, or mm -hmm. probably just gas tank. But inside of there is the servos mm -hmm. that are moving these pedals. Which is gas, oh. which is the gas like in a normal RC, yeah. right? And then, and then you turn it, and it's, it's attached to the wheel. So it just seems like as, as though that's cool. He's actually driving it. Did you did you make it yourself? <laughs> no, no, we custom ordered it from uh, Portugal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Your exhaust pipe, and I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there is a chain attached from the clutch. Your, oh, it's got a clutch in it's there. It's got a clutch in it. It's got a centrifugal in it, a lot like ours. Right. It's bigger. It's got a centrifugal clutch in there, just right. like any other fifth scales that we have here in the studio. And then it's attached to your your gearing with that with that chain. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, tires are pretty beefy. They're pretty big. Yeah, I would think it would. You would think it would bite pretty good, especially on concrete. So yeah, I wanna. I'm sure my viewers gonna want to see this run eventually once you get it like up and running and, and fully tuned in. We're gonna, we're gonna crank it up here. Yeah, you're gonna, oh, okay. Let's, we're gonna make some gas, just in case. See guys, one of the cool things about being in this hobby is you get to see very unique items like this just pop up here and there and then you get to meet really cool people. You know, you make a lot of cool friends um, in the local area and abroad. So I have friends everywhere, just super cool um, hobby. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get this thing on and see how it sounds. My friend Dana is gonna go with castor oil. We're gonna do, uh, we, he's got one gallon there. So as I mentioned earlier, it's gonna be a one to 40 ratio for that particular engine. So one gallon, one to 40, right where my finger is. There you go, one to 40. Oh, it's underneath. I think it's got a choke as well, right? That orange one? Yep. Gas. Fuel. Fuel is in.
I gonna put a kill switch on it? All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I, I certainly did. So me and Dana were talking. Um, obviously, he wasn't full throttle. It was just basically trying to break it in for, for the time being. Plus, we noticed the endpoints weren't fully, you know, it just came from the factory. So, of course, endpoints would need to be adjusted, which I'm sure Dana will do that. Um, the endpoints for the turning radius needs to be adjusted. Engine sounds good. needs to be broken in a little bit more or broken in. It just literally came from... Portugal, so I'm sure he's gonna have fun doing that. Um, but um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I certainly did. I just want to wait until once he gets it fully broken in, I'll show you guys. We'll go to a more open uh, place and then run it there, see what uh, full throttle can do. And I might get one of these, who knows? But uh, other than that, guys, stay tuned. Smith RC Studios and Dana, thanks for coming by, man. Yes, yes. Thanks yes. a lot. All right, you yes, guys. Thank uh, you. Talk soon. Cheers.